All righty. Welcome to Wired Wednesdays. It is red in here. I'm going to change my lights, but it's blue in yours, red in mine. We look like the police tonight, Dave. <laughs> Let's get I'm going to change this real quick. <laughs> but what's going on, everyone? Um, I know we're starting a little bit late. Let me say hi to everyone in the chat real quick. The Travelers Travels, what's going on, man? Nick Riley, Toxic Miner, Ogre, what's going on? Crypto Craig, what's up, man? Automatic Beats, Fallout TV show premiere tonight. No, but I do want to see it. Um, Edible Zebra, what's going on? Steven Cicero, I still have to respond to you on, on Discord. I saw that pop up. I've been traveling today to the data center, but um, I'll get back to you soon here. Uh, Max Voltage, what's going on, Max? Um, and of course, Hawk Crypto Mining. You don't even have to mention his name. You can just see the the spam of everything. Uh, what's going on, Mike? Um, Team JFK, what's what's up? Not James. Crypto Farm, what's up, man? Uh, so it's been um, it's been a long day for me, Dave. But you start. What's going on, Dave? I know. I know we talked a little bit earlier. You're making some cables, some KSO cables, but you also had some custom ones. I saw some shorts on since last Wednesday. Yeah, they're pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So you have, um, so the more that I get my name out there, the customers, you know, the, they'll ask some questions be like, Hey, can you make this, uh, type of cable? Can you make another type of cable? So it's pretty cool how, you know, they have an idea and if it makes, uh, makes sense to make, we'll make it. You know, mm. the reason why I say if it makes sense to make, because we don't want to make a cable that can cause harm to your unit, cause harm to your GPU or, you know, trying to bridge off a cable that's not you know, that can't handle the wattage, right? Or the amperage. But uh, for the most part, I'm able to make virtually anything that you could think of, right? Like like the special cables that I had to make for you guys because you need that extra six pin for that application, right? Mm. So um, I have another customer right now that wants extension cables for the Dell proprietary P um, workstations. So mm. I'm doing um, like an external ATX power supply for that, for this customer. So he has external ATX power supplies, but those, you know, the Dell workstations, you can't, um, you can't expand. You're spending a lot of money on the power supplies, and yeah. it limits it limits the power supplies limit to you to like two plugs. So I'm already converting a plug over to get two pins, but it's still not enough. If you want to like, you know, do proof of use work, for instance, right, Flux mm. Edge, um, you you can only do two two GPUs. You're maxed out. Yeah, but you're able. You have more lanes. You have more PCIe lanes on those workstations. Therefore, I'm able to make this cable so you can utilize this board the way you're supposed to utilize it. You know, yeah. more efficiently. Um, besides that, just uh, the website's coming. The new website is coming, and it's coming. I'm. Uh, I don't know if I could say soon or not. Tomorrow, Mike, tomorrow. you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you tomorrow morning, seven a.m. That was long. You know what it is to, when it comes to websites, right? You have multiple websites, right? Um, multiple businesses, but I'm saying this website, I think it's going to turn out really, really, really good. I'm mm -hmm. trying to make it as user friendly as possible, but at the same time, customers are going to have a lot more to choose from as well. So that's key. So yeah. there's, I mean, like, uh, like you were saying, I was doing the shorts and there's like a green with yellow stripe. I don't have that on my website right now. So, yeah. you know, a customer and I'll, I'll send them all these colors on like a, a photo, mm -hmm. a picture that I take I mean, like, Hey, you pick and choose what, what color would you like? You're going to be able to do that. It's going to be able to work right from the website. Yeah. So that's. That's what I've been working on with making the K zero cables. Um, limited time, if you guys don't already know, and then I'll stop shilling the company. So, limited <laughs> time, if you guys don't already know, the teal K zero cables is limited until basically while supplies last, um, because I don't have that much, you know, the the power cord for the teal. Um, also, carbon fiber look, because now I have the same color as the carbon fiber look, where you have the carbon fiber look for the regular cables. I have that for individually sleeved for the K zeros. While supplies mm -hmm. last. And then if I reorder, if we're selling a lot, I may reorder, but it costs a lot of money for sleeving. So that's about it for now. Um, but uh, we're good to go. Yeah. The, the website stuff is always like, I know we talk yeah. about it a lot, right? Like on the business side of stuff, that's always like the most difficult part because like, <clears throat> especially in the beginning with GP risers and you, you experience the same thing, right? Like when you have, um, you know, a good product and you're, you know, uh, going to YouTubers for them to sponsor your product and showcase your product. It's, um, 
it's kind of easy for those viewers to like go to your website from that link in that video and be like, oh, like, you know, they don't care too much about the website, right? Because they're like, right. I saw this product, it's endorsed by, you know, XYZ by these right. YouTubers. So it's like easy for that. What's difficult is when, you know, as a company is trying to like, you know, enhance their SEO and try to get like organic right. views from not just YouTube, right? They're trying to get views from, you know, Google and just search results. Mm -hmm. And then they land on your web page like there's a lot of like psychology that goes into that you know like when you land on the page like something that engages them gets them to go a little bit further and i think a lot of business owners struggle with that right because we're we're dealing with every other aspect of the business and it's like that's that's really a key part you know what i mean is is you know having people come to your website and be comfortable with it and you know i've always felt for you on that day because yeah. you're like hey i got this great product but i have like 40 colors of it you know what i mean like it's like know. it's it's almost like it, i don't want to say too many colors because it's not but it's how do you present that in a way that is like comfortable for someone coming not from youtube to the website right. you know and yeah. i did see a sneak peek of dave's website he did send me a sneak peek of it i have mm -hmm. it right here actually i'm gonna pull it now kidding dave <laughs> look at you turned red but um <laughs> uh it does look good it looks good and it's that's that's important that's really important but um mike wants to talk about something controversial all right let's talk about the discrimination of italians mike you want to talk about mike's uh, roman uh, history lessons here or uh what was it the who invented the telephone mike that's controversial right you remember that from the sopranos i'm joking but what no. well <laughs> jesus <laughs> we have Don't some more people uh let me try to catch up here real quick i'm trying to catch up too not to James, uh, at veteran miner speaking of evga P cpu to dual six plus two cable possible i know you just have cpu to dual six yeah cpu to dual six plus two i don't think that i would um make that cable with a dual six plus two to two eight pins i'm not a real big advocate for one single you know one single eight pin for dual eight pins depending you know, it all depends on the application right mike you know, so w with that being said, I think I might be possibly coming out with an um, eight pin to, to dual eight pin like extension cable, mm -hmm. but I'm not really sure yet. What I would make is a CPU to a six plus two pin. I should have that on the website, but not a dual six plus two pin right now. It's just yeah. like what I guess. Well, here we go. I might regress a little bit, but I'm sorry. <laughs> EVGA. This is how they meter their 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 power supplies right each connection is rated for 255 watts you may you may get a little bit more out of it yes my my cables can handle more than 255 watts that's not the question evga's ratings are rated for a reason right so if you have a 1600 watt power supply divide those by how many usually it's like 12 on like a 1600 watt mic like on the a pins they have um, nine, twelve. They have nine VGA and two CPU. So that's eleven. So let's just do the math really quick. So that's eleven hundred watts at a hundred watts in each cable, right? So you actually, you know, you gotta, you have to do the math, and they, they give you a reason for a standard, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the reason for the two hundred and fifty-five watts. Will my, will it will their rails burn up? Possibly not, but they have to do a rating for a reason, right? Yeah. Because think about it, like. If you're trying to get pull over like 400 watts out of it, yeah, it's going to keep on drawing until it burns up. Mm. That's the bottom line. So, I mean, that's just the ratings and this is what we go by. And there's different situations. I mean, you could wide jack probably like three or four times with my cables, right? And just get a whole bunch of like risers or something, you know, whatever. But it's just like, you know, you just got to play it safe at the end of the day. Yeah. That's all. Okay crypto farm i wanted to touch on this sorry to cut you early off on that one dave but he's saying <laughs> that you make custom 50 foot sleeved eight pins for gpu so you can run them in a different room sure possibly can do that <laughs> he said you already made them no oh, okay i was about to say 50 foot <laughs> cables let's test it out though crypto farm let's do it that's crazy i mean honestly like the average i've made three and a half foot cables i think mm. I, I made it for a customer for ai rig yeah it's still going so i guess that's just you know 
as you get as the cable gets longer okay just simple ohm's law here we go as the cable gets longer it creates more heat why because there's more there's more resistance in the cable okay mm -hmm. so the shorter the cable it is the less resistance right so like you sell eight pin to dual eight pins right they're only this big what are they like nine inches long yeah the cables yeah so your your, your y adapters are nine inches long you have them there's they're called splitters right they're only mm. nine inches long so you're not going to have that much resistance because they're only nine inches long as you elongate the cable you're going to it creates more resistance it's just simple ohm's law and that's what creates heat if your wire is is gauged properly you shouldn't have issues ever it's that simple is that how it works from like the power plant to like the telephone yeah. on the poles right yeah. but if you have duke energy they suck so <laughs> I mean, we're supposed to <laughs> we're supposed to have uh, winds or something like that. I mean, you, a slight wind, all of a sudden, I have no electricity. So yeah. it's just like over here, it's horrible. I don't get it. But so uh, we got hot crypto mining. Yeah. We need this thing to get a new mic that's not shaped. All right, I have a new thing that I'm going <sighs> to do with Mike because Mike is always upgrading his his mics, his cameras, okay. his rooms everything i'm just gonna i'm gonna call mike and just be like let me just get your old stuff i'll pay you 20 cents on the dollar for whatever you paid for it and then then i'll get the old mike because mike has like he has such a good setup at his place like his mic is so nice his camera is so nice so whenever he upgrades i'm just gonna take the old stuff but this thing is still going strong i guess i could take off the protector but then you hear the wind right my fan i don't know I didn't I like hear a difference, to be honest with you. <laughs> What's up, Jeff e and Goat? What's up, Mr. Geek of all trades? Uh, uh, DJ Mines, what's going on, man? New England Crypto, what's up, dude? Uh, Retro Mike, what's going on? What's going on? Um, oh, man. But 20 cents, yeah, Mike, 20, 20 cents. It's, um, that's where it is. But, Mike, let me know when you upgrade, all right? You said that's where it is. That's what you yeah. getting. <laughs> maybe 18 cents let's let's not get crazy here okay we'll, we'll try it out but it's uh it's yeah it's it works right dave that's the important part it works. that's all that matters but, I, um, I like that desk setup too man you got the meeting oh yeah I added, there. I added this thing over here i got my lights this is nice it's doing good <sighs> it's getting i don't know what to do with the window yet I, I don't, don't know, know either. I mean, it's there. only been a couple of years now, Mike. I, I, don't, I don't know. know. It's, only been two, it's only been two years. I don't know what to do with the window. I don't, I don't know what you, you're supposed to do with that. I, don't um, know. I do have my proof of useful work computer there. It's kind of tucked away, but um, that's on and going. Uh, I think I might. I'm, actually, I think I'm going to take out the 4090 in there and get two 4080 supers because I think they're like 320 watts or 350. I feel a lot more comfortable running that on my 15 amp outlet than mm. two 4090s. So, and I'm gonna be putting the 4090 into another. I'm building another 4090 rig because I never learned my lesson with it. But um, Dave's gonna be making some custom cables for that here soon. Oh, well, that's right. I didn't. Yeah. I went over it. That's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. We just gotta pick the colors. Yeah, I mean, surprise me. Actually, no. We'll pick the colors. <laughs> we'll pick the colors. Don't let me do that. <laughs> but, yeah, no, there's going to be some interesting cables in that, too. Lots of testing. Yeah. I feel like me and Dave do a lot of testing. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, let's try this out. Let's see if it works and everything like that. So that'll be exciting. I'm probably going to be building that, um, what, at the end of this month, I think? Yeah, you said, uh, I think, at the end of the month. Yeah. I keep looking time. for deals on 4090s which is hard to even find i mean 4090s are pretty readily available now so right um it's not too bad i did get a really good deal on a asus tough 4090 the other week on amazon it was listed for 1619 and then i think like after the five percent back or something like that it was like 1520 or 1530 or something with the amazon card um but it only let really? me get one and then I have three more coming. I'm building another eight card 4090 rig. So that should be up by the end of April, maybe. I don't know. Going to be doing a lot of testing with that. Wait, so. you said the cable's not due to the end of April. Yeah. yeah. May? Well, I can't. Well, yeah, I, I have to get some of the, the, the cards and stuff like that. So it's yeah. going to be a little bit. Okay. 
Mr. Goat, you need more RGB. Yeah. I wish the sign could change colors, but it is a nice orange. Really I have my nice filling two lights. These are kind of that one's supposed to be like towards the wall, so you don't see like the beam of light. It's supposed to like reflect or something. Does it but... have brackets to um to hang up the Vistang sign? Yeah, no? it does. I just don't know where to hang it. Did Behind that like... you, right on top of your head. You know how what, like, like up, see how everything's up on top of my head right there. No, no, no. Oh, over right behind here? you. Yeah, right by the tree. Right behind you. Yeah, yeah, I could. Just do it right now, live. We'll see. It. Yeah, everyone can see my <laughs> mounting job. <laughs> and I got my orb. I love this orb thing. Uh, but yeah, no, like it's getting the there. It's getting there, goat. I'm doing it. One thing at a time, right? It's like I'm trying to put little puzzle pieces in and everything like that. But... Listen, if you guys have watched the streams from day one and now, Mike has came a long way long yeah. way this was just white walls everywhere everything <laughs> it's getting there though just add, add, add in one thing one thing you know it's it's what it is <laughs> the toxic miner just got right. another 4090 fe today tax free from the navy exchange nice yeah i did hear about that before Wait actually a second. They, they, they were selling uh fe cards look at dave uh, dave's on uh on the on navy the exchange right yeah Ah, it's different exchanges. Yeah. Dave, Dave Alexander Fleener, eight card rig. What uh, type of frame are you using? I'm using the GP risers Omega frames. So even with, you know, it's meant for 12 cards, like 12 big cards. But even with um, eight uh, 4090s, it's like, I don't want to say it's kind of tight, but it's, I wouldn't want to put 10 on there. Um, <clears throat> with Terra, we've done like a lot of testing and stuff like that. And there was a, a moment in time where we, you know, had 10, 12, 8, you know, all the different kind of configurations. But 10 is 10's a, a little, a lot. I would say 8 4090s for a single frame is probably where you're going to want to be. Um, but, but yeah, no, it's, um, it's the Omega frame. It's, it's, it's big. It's huge. Um, but... Let's see. Retro Mike, day one stream was fire. Thanks, Retro Mike. You're here since the beginning. Loyal follower. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Hawk Crypto Mining, he has plenty in stock. Yes, we do have uh, quite a few Omega frames in stock. Um, but remember how angry Hawk uh, would get with the audio issues? Those are days. Yeah, we should bring back the audio issues. We should just start it off and just like... <laughs> just keep, keep it going like just talk. for like 10 minutes without without saying anything not even reading the chat we think everything is fine all of a sudden i look at my freaking thing and it's just like mute 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 <laughs> <laughs> no one can hear you the music is like blaring yeah oh jesus but... yeah good it's, times uh... yeah we got there though that's why i just use Streamyard now it's so much easier so much i haven't easier. learned my lesson yet i just don't want to yeah. switch i'm very uh stubborn I just yeah. like using both yeah. of the platforms. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Mr. Edible Zebra, I just got my Omega frame last week. Nice, nice. Yeah, I have seen like an uptick in purchases for the Omega frame. Um, a lot of people are getting back into like open air mining too. It's, um, you know, it's hard to like jump right into like server cases. I feel like when you're getting into mining, you know, it's like you can run it on like 120 in your house, but like, you could, that's like a, I feel like the different level. That's where it like kind of goes in from a hobby to like, I'm really going to start doing this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I agree. If they're loud, like you can't really have them in a room, you know, they, uh, but I do see more people kind of getting back into it. You can also scale it a lot easier. Yeah. It doesn't have the nice features like the, you know, the Octominer has with Hive OS and stuff like that, but it's, um, it's it, it looks cool in a room, right? Like if I had enough power in here, I would have probably an Omega frame over there. I was originally going to do that before this, just have like an open a you know open air AI rig, but <clears throat> I kind of decided to just rather than the heat kind of spewing everywhere, just keep it like isolated. But this one's it's on right now, but it's not doing anything. I don't have anything running on it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll run like 100 amps in this room, and I'll, you guys will just see me sweat the whole the whole thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crypto Craig, so are your 4090 rigs still on VAST or did you move them to something more competitive? All of my rigs are on VAST still. Um, so those are on VAST. I have been kind of consolidating um, 
smaller rigs like with less amounts of cards to larger rigs with more cards on them um i noticed it's just easier to manage less amount like you know you you don't have to allocate as much bandwidth to you know instead of having just say five two card rigs you can have one 10 card rig i don't have that set up but just say you did you're only dealing with like one customer that's renting it you're only dealing with one computer you're only dealing with one you know internet connection for yeah. it like you don't have to worry about all these different things so and i also noticed the people that are renting multi-card rigs that are more expensive they usually rent for longer and it's not like there's not because the market isn't as saturated like with a, a lot of one or two card rigs it like people won't jump off the rig and get a cheaper one like all of their like everything's loaded up they already uploaded it it's doing what they want to do and they're not going to look and be like oh well this other rig is one cent lower per hour let me jump off and do it you know what i mean so it's it kind of brings in like a different clientele when you have multi-card rigs that's what i've experienced but of course when you do that you have to have like you know 240 you can't run these like this i can't do multi-card that's why i'm gonna switch this from a single 4090 to a dual 4080 super because they have um what 16 gigs of ram but um yeah crypto craig density is key that's kind of what i've always done you know with with mining i've always i have like these phases right where it's like i you know, have tons of cards tons of cards like you know uh 6600 xt 6600 like as, as many cards as possible and then i consolidate down to like the 80s and 90s of like the nvidia series or like the mm -hmm. 68 6900s of the amds this is definitely like a consolidation period in my life i would say uh but it's also a little bit different because of the ai right like um that's how it is but one thing i am interested in with the 4080 supers is um price wise the actual return on a 4080 super is better than a 4090 um which has been i haven't really seen that before but like the the uh supply of the 4080 supers are um not really there i mean a 4090 is better right but a 4080 super is close and it does a lot of the work for it and one of the key things for me at least what i'm thinking is i'll, I'll spill my beans here with you guys because i trust everyone here uh but also if you get like new cards like oddball cards like 4080 supers or even 4080s 4070 ti's like stuff like that especially with a like a two, like two of them or three of them or something because you can actually fit three on this this one of 4080 supers of course i don't want to do that with the power but long story short what i'm saying is um you're more likely to get verified because there's there's not as many of that combination on vast so that's kind of something i'm looking at um as well so uh retro mic when omega phone frame retro mic i'll send you an omega frame if you load it up with phones i want to see how many phones you can put on that mm -hmm. dave could probably make you a custom 1600 watt evga cable to <laughs> what usb c's usb um yeah he's been uh, asking me he right. wants he wants like uh, 200 on there yeah. uh wife wouldn't let me get any more server cases yeah they're they're kind of loud I was up in Melbourne today with um, Crypto Frank. We were kind of just doing some housekeeping stuff up there. And we turned off our 3090 rig that was on Vast in the Octo server. And that Octo server is so loud. Like when we turned it off, it sounded the whole data center was like quiet. It was like, wow, this is, there's no way to change the fan settings on it. That thing was just blaring. It's crazy. Toxic miner. I have both servers in open air, but I like open air so I can use the Ryzen 9 as CPU mine as well. Yeah, that's a huge thing, right? Um, we've had some clients want to, or I think we've done like maybe one or two where they swap out the Octaminers or R8s, um, like Celeron processors uh, with like i7s. You know what I mean? Like they'll swap it out with that to mine, which it just overheats you know what i mean like so much heat is thrown at this thing it's not really meant for that um especially with the the cooler on it you know what i mean so we ended up telling people we can't cpu mine on octaminers uh, why didn't you ever make a 12 gpu server case r12 has a nice ring to it <sighs> there's a there's a couple reasons um 
One being when we did the R8 project with Octominer, you know, it was obviously like a partnership that we had with Octominer to do it. It's, I, we never tried to say, like, hey, this is our server case. This is always a white labeled Octominer, right? Because we wanted the features. Right. There's no way to compete with Octominer. That's kind of what, what I came to a conclusion with when we were looking at server cases. Like, this is the best. So, like, let's just white label it, you know, and have the customer service and blah, blah, blah. But um, the 12 version they get damaged a lot more than the eight version in shipping, like a lot more, like they have a lot more problems. And so that's something we didn't really want to incur in the beginning. It was something that we were like, okay, maybe down the line we'll do it because we had these things freighted over on pallets, right? Like on a boat. So like it, it wasn't that bad. And once it's stateside, you know, we can ship it and, you know, UPS, I know that they don't treat it the best, but like we could mitigate some of the damage compared to air shipment from China over here. Uh, but by the time we ever got to that point that was like bear market right like it was entering the bear market right when we made the deal with octominer and um it just didn't make sense to i guess do that at the at the time and even now it's i'm so busy with terra and stuff like that that it's i kind of just like my gp riser shop like i you know the risers thermal pads i made another order for thermal pads today you know people summer's here you know what right. i mean i can always tell when the thermal pad orders come in um mm -hmm. But uh, I kind of want to stick back to the, the basics. The server cases are a lot of customer service, like a lot of troubleshooting, a lot of everything. And I just like I can't dedicate the time to it, honestly. So we're not going to be redoing any R8 orders. Uh, what we have left is what we are going to have. I am going to, of course, keep some for RMAs and stuff like that. Uh, like after I get to X amount, I'm going to hold X amount and then wait like a couple weeks, make sure everyone that got them shipped, at least it's like a intact unit and then kind of part out the last bit of it. Um, so that's the R8 story there, Goat. I know you wanted me to talk about 10 minutes for, before you said I did it. Um, Mr. Goat, keep your beans to yourself. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. I'll send you a private DM, Goat. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Retro, boy. like, uh, send it, Dave. I'm gonna need 100 USB C to an ATX 5 volt rail. Could you do that, Dave? ATX 5 volt rail, like 100 um, USB C's to like, you know, a customer is asking me to make a USB C cable to something else. The thing is that we would have to find a USB C cable that is not really thin, right? The problem is that they're not, these USB C cables are not pushing a lot of wattage. So I would have to possibly get new pins and a new configuration to pin the USB-C cable with, you know, with my cable or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, or pin it directly, you know, have it crimped on to a, uh, you know, a rail, for instance. I mean, anything is possible, but I would have to like do a lot of research to try to figure it out. You have to sign out. a waiver, Retro Mike. You got to yeah. sign a waiver. Now, you fire like, at your own risk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could I could connect a hundred to it. I just wouldn't no have problem. it in my house. Just, I wouldn't leave yeah. it unattended. <laughs> testing at your house only, Russia Mike. <laughs> yeah, no testing. <laughs> just sign this waiver, like nothing. I want to, uh, Mr. Crypto Craig. Thanks so much for the super chat. Retro Mike is the prominent phone mining influencer. Yeah, I just I did see oh, yeah. Retro Mike's last video with the server case that he had for it. That thing is crazy, crazy. Retro Mike, let me know in the comments. Actually, did, is that like working well for you? Or are you? using that like are you converting i guess you're to the point right where you had like your stand that you made for them but now you're like with the gpu guys where you're like i need like to consolidate this into like server cases and like do it like that um are you gonna fill that up i am I, i've been watching along here with the retro mic so let me know uh mr crypto craig gpu risers pads are awesome thanks man yeah they they've been yeah, that's why Terra uses them they uh whenever we do maintenance or anything like that on people's cards they they really are it's and one thing with the pads that I never understood when I was getting into them on the business perspective is like, I know the pads that like all the ones that you get on Amazon are, you know, like I know all the prices for everything. These pads were like about 25% more expensive, like on your actual cost for it. And um, it just didn't make sense not to, not to do that. Right. Cause a lot of these pads, like the package, the, the, they're cheap. What's expensive is the shipping, right? Like getting it to you and stuff like that, that eats into a lot of the cost. So I never understood why, like, a lot of these other companies didn't just kind of eat that margin. It wasn't a lot, but mm -hmm. I'm really glad we, we ended up doing it. Lots of testing for that. 
they are soft though but they uh they have to be at that like thermal conductivity level um alexander fleener omega frame ordered will order cables next thanks guys i appreciate that alexander um all those orders are going to be going out friday so um you'll get an email with an update but i do appreciate it the omega frame is huge i'm sure if you just ordered it you saw on the website i didn't want to pull it up when we we're talking about it i'm not trying to shill the brand constantly but it is a it's designed in-house there's like the only frame <clears throat> not the only frame but that i've seen mass produced that was like designed in in-house we one of my one of my good friends is like an engineer and we sat there and i was like had an EVGA power supply on this side. And I'm like, it has to reach here with the splitter cables on the other side. Like it was engineered all for that. Um, the generic 12 GPU frames, which do not fit 12 cards at all. Uh, you know, even like smaller cards, it's like too dense. Um, those, those were designed like for mass shipment, like how much can fit on a pallet, not what's best for the miner. So <clears throat> Omega is a little more expensive, but you'll see it when you get it. It's, it's well worth it. You know, it'll fit anything you want it to. Crypto Craig, that would be epic. 100 USB-Cs. Dave, you should just build it just to, for fun. I should try to. Um, I guess I'll try. Yeah, Maybe it can't that, hurt. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Retro Mike. Maybe he could uh, farm some cables or something like that. The, the thing is that I can't make the USB-C portion, right? Mm. I mean, if I... You know, honestly, I, I can, but... It would just be so time consuming, uh, you know, soldering each individual cable, right? You're not going to get know. a 16 inch, 16 gauge cable on to a little connector. It's just never going to happen. Yeah. So, I mean, with that being said, yeah, you could probably cut it and then make larger wires. Anything's possible, but I guess uh, we'll have to see. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. See, retro my gp rise the server case is super nice it can also hook up to an external control board or mining rig to manage all the phones using android cli cli tool move 25 that's sick that's crazy what it, it's that? that yeah that android it can like do, yeah. do all of that and it has it has like a, a it's nuts what he said an ex external control board to manage it like that's that's impressive it's not just a metal box with power right that's crazy. No phone modifications needed. Just need the right cables. Most charger cables are only 2.4 amps, and those won't supply enough charge. Yeah. Mr. King. Sorry, I'm late. The king never arrives late. He arrives precisely when the king is supposed to arrive. Good to keg. Uh, too busy cleaning up from that dust storm. That was crazy. <laughs> it was awful. Yeah, I did. I talked to King a little bit earlier today. I think it was it today or yesterday i can't remember king all these days just kind of merged together but the mining king for anyone that doesn't know that's been watching <clears throat> he has been in melbourne at the data center for like a week and a half and we had some i don't want to say internet issues um what's the right term king um lumen is just a bad company i don't know how else to word that uh <laughs> they are unhelpful they uh don't respond to anything and everything throughput issues that's 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 the professional term for it was throughput issues we were basically we you know, we have 10 gig internet there on a, like a 400 gig tunnel or 100 gig tunnel. it's a lot of fiber right and uh but there's like degradation through the network when it goes through switches and everything like that and um and we didn't know what was going on but king figured it out without the help of lumen that's why i had to email Lumen. Believe, i was right? I spent like 30 minutes on this email from to lumen it was ridiculous it was um it was crazy because the first time we had an issue with billing or something like months ago and what i did for that because i just got nowhere with it like nowhere and so I just went on like LinkedIn and like went on Google and I found like 50 random email addresses from Lumen of like random people that are high up. And I just kept emailing 50 people. I would just CC like 50 people. And eventually it got solved. This time, still no resolution, which is crazy because we pay, you know, thousands of dollars a month for internet there. And insane. And, yeah. And you can't even get on the phone with someone. That's what's wild is like, you know, you'll call them and if you're lucky, they'll email you back. 
but then every time you email them it's like a day until they respond and then they cc like two or three other people and then those people that they cc will respond to the email and be like why am i cc'd on this this is not like my department you know what i mean it's just like a complete cluster it's crazy uh so long story short king loves lumen he fully endorses them as a company and their support is top notch top notch support. oh boy always there king can pick up the phone right away talk to a, uh someone a level five ticket yeah i don't even know what that means right they're like oh did you create a ticket like yeah we created a ticket um speaks volumes yeah it's time to move on it's i wish it was like that easy right like when i switched from eight to at&t at my house with fiber i went from comcast and i was like I was excited. I almost threw a party here. I was so happy. I'm like, this is the, I was going to wait till the Comcast guys were going to come and disconnect it. And I was going to pop champagne in the front yard and have like this whole thing. I hate Comcast and, and everything like that. But I have the choice to move from Comcast to AT&T, right? Like I can, I could switch between it at the data center. Like they had to pipe in this thing to the data center. Like this is like Lumen's pipe going into Lumen's magic box that like turns light waves into like communication. lumen's magic box yeah i don't know what it is i know it's loud it's way bigger than it needs to be it looks like they're probably spying on every i'm just kidding but um but yeah so we can't really just like switch or else if it was easy we would and also these people like require like years of contracts right like lumen i think we have like a three-year contract with them of course they've completely failed all their duties of the contract so we could back out whenever we want not not saying we are but you know if they if they keep up keep it up we could but yeah we i know i'm ranting we would have to like find another f uh fiber provider which we can do but it would be like okay it's gonna be another eight months it took us eight months to get internet there which looking back maybe that was just looming right i don't know maybe it's just i don't know i don't know either i don't know but that's that's that it's uh it's crazy it's crazy patrick murphy what's up man uh, Lumen will take us one month per giga connection. You have to respond to. Yeah, it's. I wish it was a joke. That's why I put in my email. I'm like, I like. Granted, like if my internet went out right now, I probably wouldn't care because it's at night. But like during the day or something, I would be like, okay, let me call AT and T, see what's going on, and at least you get on the phone with someone. You might have to wait 20 minutes, right? But at least you get on the phone with someone that can like remotely restart stuff and like do all this kind of stuff, like figure a problem out. And if they can't. Then you get a tech to your house like the next day or something, right? It's not like the end of the world. With Lumen, you, you can't. There's like nothing. Did you open a ticket? Did, did you open up a ticket? Uh, <laughs> we, need, we need 72 hours to respond to your ticket. Yeah. They're so huge, they don't care. Yeah, that's what's that's what's crazy. It's sad. What, that's why their, their stock's a dollar. Really? Uh, well, dollar forty. yeah. Because when we first started talking to Lumen, I was like, this company is fantastic this is like the best company this is they, they have fiber lines across the oceans like what could go wrong with lumen you know what i mean so i invested <laughs> in lumen, wrong? and it was at like two dollars and now it's at like a buck 50 or something and i'm <laughs> like i don't know how they're wrong. not bankrupt I, I don't know how they're surviving but um mr geek of all trades sounds like time to start talking to another isp yeah <sighs> we are i mean everything right now is set up with lumen and king fixed it all like it's all working and we kind of know like procedures going forward, how to keep the boat going a little bit. So hopefully we don't need them, you know, for much, but um, you you are right. Yeah, it's it's there. Uh, in 10 minutes a minute, are there options? Yeah, there are. We just need to, we need to sit down and figure it out, right? Like we've had a, just a lot going on recently with the hosting side and the data center side's like AI compute. And of course we have like our flux nodes and stuff like that, but it hasn't been like, like if it's not a fire, then we, we're not going to like put it out right now. You know what I mean? So King got it all fixed. And we're good there. Yeah. Um, only so many can provide 100 gigs. Yeah. It's a big tunnel. Um, but yeah. Escalate the tickets and level for how severe the ticket is. I don't even think that that ticket system's connected up. I bet King, when you submit those tickets, it just goes straight into someone's trash email. <laughs> just like straight in. <laughs> skip go Trap. straight to jail straight to jail Jesus. um during the annual lumen retreat they hand out the king award for exceptional customer service yeah yeah another it's terrible though man this is like such a huge 
multi multi million dollar company mm. to do oh, shit like that. Like a billion dollar company, isn't it? It is a billion dollar, dollar isn't it? Let me look up. Just to do shit like that is just insane, dude. What's their market cap? One point four billion. Huh. That's it, huh? Yeah. Uh, GP Riser, have they met their SLAs? I, King could probably answer this question a little little bit better, but I think the long answer is no, or the short answer is no. I'm sorry. The long answer is we've had random. I don't know what the King King is the the person in charge of this, but it's like a random outages, right? Even if it's like a split second, it's still like losing connectivity. Like no one even notices really, but um, yeah, they're probably not meeting it crypto frank what's up man so sad but true yeah it is it's i don't understand like it's such a the bare bones of that company is just great right like they they sell to like large providers like at&t even you know uses their backbone i think and like all this kind of stuff and it's like you have a company that's paying like thousands a month you know what i mean like you could hire one customer service rep for like four companies and still make money just have him just man or him or her just manage four companies right. that are paying that like what are you doing you know what i mean like it's so crazy so crazy it's uh only so many that can provide that level of service for 100 gigs eat but hard yeah it's but just get get like we still to this date with lumen, this is I, I should change like the the title to this video on, on lumen because i hope they're listening but like we still to this day I hope that was don't know who we could call for help. We have no idea. We have like an account manager and she responds usually within an hour or two, but it's a response with no substance. It's just she CCs a bunch of random people. I'm convinced he's CCing that she's CCing bots or something like that. Like they're like bot responses. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we'll get back to you. Of course we'll get back to you. Where I've we've escalated this to code red, like it's it's coming. The help has gone the way. Like, no, it's it's just like it's we we don't know we don't know who to call still. And they, I think King was having this issue last week, and I I I went off on them in an email with this, and they're like, we're gonna get right on this. We're gonna figure it out. Level five problem. Level five technician, super technicians coming in. You know, they're the guy who invented fibers on the way type thing. And then still no response. It's been a week. No response for a week. It's crazy. No, but, we're not. I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to say you got to give us free Internet for about 12 to 13 years to make up for this. Jesus. But, um, okay. <laughs> GP Risers also added four port 100 gig switches and two switches or dual 100 gig ports that sw uh, switch 1.2 terabytes per second. Jeez. It's crazy all fiber too yeah it's definitely a big overhaul there definitely a big overhaul um 10 minutes to midnight south florida comcast is trash at&t is a dumpster fire i actually have had no problems with my at&t fiber like at my house i've had it for a little over a year now and like <clears throat> it's gone out i think twice but i just go reset the box and it like works you know what i mean like I, I can't complain. You know what I mean? Like I lose power more often than I lose internet, which is still few and far between. But, um, but yeah, it's haven't had that. The Comcast is just that's a whole different stream. We're gonna have a special Saturday night stream. No, uh, <laughs> chump doesn't say we're gonna have a Sunday night stream talking about Comcast. Crypto Frank, when are you coming to Florida? Crypto Craig, I think for mining this rep, right? Yeah, I think it's recent. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, King, you requested for a tech. Yeah, they're going to get right back to you, King. They're they're on the way to the data center right now to, to save us. <laughs> Power down. Uh, the, uh, yeah, exactly. Goat. It's like the one time I did get them to call me back is um, I just called the one. This was like in August, I think. And they told us for like months, like six months. They're like, yeah, yeah like we got to not only do we have to be there when we turn it on, but like your guys have to be there. We have to hand it off to them. We got to make sure your equipment works. And I'm like, this is great. This is perfect. And we got a call at mining disrupt. Like, Hey, your fibers online, the bill is due or something like that. And we're like, what are you talking about? Like we, so I called the guy and the one thing I do know about it is we can't turn our internet off. Like they put like these crazy, like alarms on it. Like the guy was like, yeah, if the alarm goes off, like there's eight hours of power that are like the batteries. 
and then there's uh like a two hour time window or something we got to be there because it's a backbone for like it continues like the fiber to the next like company and next to us is like Crazy. all defense contractors right like like you know l3 harris is there grumman north rob grumman's there so i called the guy he didn't answer of course because stellar customer service but i call the guy i'm like i'm just turning this thing off i'm like i'm just turning it off we're not going to use it or something i got a call back within like 30 seconds it was like 30 seconds that guy called me back but um yeah so long story short lumen great company hawk crypto mining where are those guys that were on that google meets call last year you're talking about lumen i i have no idea like everyone that was friendly like oh we're your account manager we're, we'll be here forever for you they got like, fired whatever you need just call me here's my <laughs> cell gone. phone number yeah whatever you need no mike they're gone they're they're at a competitor they lumen's employee retention is probably two months long um let's see fortunately we need lumen because they provide uh 24 slash 24 ip blocks at no charge yeah king we could just buy our own ip block at this point i mean if we had to right like we could we could do it it's um it's just it's it's too much yeah like goat said you could buy your own and resell them in the future it is an investment it's like a it's an asset um it just oh, sucks man, that I'm, you have to deal I'm, with that though that's all yeah yeah, 100 gig service will only be supplied by a few. Luckily, where we are, Craig, in like Melbourne, is like there's actually like four or five providers that can do a 100 gig tunnel there because we're so close. Like, we're, I think we're, we're probably half a mile away from Northrop Grumman and we're about a mile away from L3 Harris. Like, they're big facilities there. And those guys have like seven redundant lines or something going in. Like they have their own data centers there and stuff. So like we could actually get, we're very lucky there, you know, where it is. Um, Cogent. Yeah. I remember Cogent was one of them, but we were just sold a false lie by Lumen. Um, Terrible. Wait. Yeah. The ticket's still open, but I'm going to skip some of these real quick. Yeah, Mike, I'm I'm getting there. Five minutes behind. Um, <laughs> sounds awesome, G Prize, but only if I'm invited to the Comcast bitch session. Yeah, Max, let's let's just have a let's have a big live stream, big live stream party. Let's do that once once you wake up and CNBC's like Comcast is down eighty percent. Rumors rumors are around that they're going bankrupt. We'll have like a live stream. We'll all celebrate and pop champagne and have a good time. Nothing is worse than Comcast. It is. Mm-mm. When I first got, Com- I have another <laughs> complaint, complaint here. Too. Let me know if it's too much. When I first got Comcast in my house, I'm like, okay, I want, I kind of want the internet to go here, right? This guy just, like, in my living room, just took a drill, went straight through the wall, and then just from like their box outside, just left this. It, it was like 20 oh, yeah. feet this cable yeah. along the, the edge of my house. I'm like, normally you get the little like, what are they called, Dave? Like the little plastic things that you like route the wire, like. What are they called? Where like, like if you had like a wire running on the wall, it's like a plastic thing that goes over the yeah, wire. Are you talking about? Wall. Yeah, th- yeah. This guy just like I told him, I'm like, do you have anything like that? Like this looks just awful. Like this is like, I, like I'm gonna get caught on this walking. You know what I mean? Like this wire. This is like unsafe. He just gets like a glue gun or something and like glues no. the thing to the wall. Yeah, the whole side of my house is like this. It's like this. Yeah, it's, it's like, like the plug. It's like the plug walls, right? That you would yeah. put on there that you would actually or eye loops that you actually because it's concrete right you have it's concrete on the outside of the house mm-hmm. in florida right that's well, what stucco, right? yeah you had a stucco and but it's stucco with the concrete yeah. and mm-hmm. you need to like use that and then you can have insulated you know plugs they would do that mm-hmm. you know what i mean like someone yeah. that cares about the job yeah but that means that requires that you you need a drill it doesn't require just a glue, fucking glue gun, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. This guy just glued it, it requires to the work. house. At the end of the day, yeah. it requires work and doing your job yeah. properly. So, yeah. yeah, good luck with that one. That's too much. That's too much to ask. Too much. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so Comcast is great. Comcast, Lumen, highly recommend. Both can't go wrong with either company. Fantastic. Just It's uh, it's, it's great. It's in the bar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Shark Farmer. Those installers don't give a shit about it. Not my house. That's 100%. 100%. It's uh, it was glue. Yeah, it was it was it was like it looked like it was like a giant super glue thing. It was like one of those, you know, the tubes like the rubber cement, not rubber cement. What's it called? Liquid nails. You know those? Yeah. It was like that, but clear. Just 
like and he didn't even route the wire because he like cut it too short or something so it was like just like a big like crescent moon and he just pushed it against the wall and just took this glue thing so it was like it was gotta love i don't it. know gotta love it it was great it was great it was perfect so love comcast lumen either one either one but just raising the bar yeah exactly exactly here we go with lumen let's just uh <laughs> I don't think there's night mode on Yahoo Finance, but ah, nice. Yeah, here I could show you guys where I invested in Lumen if ever anyone's interested. So, all right, so <laughs> this chart actually this doesn't look as bad. I did it at like two dollars or something. It's at a dollar thirty-eight, but you know you can see they're they're quite down uh, since we got them. When did we get them? It was we signed their contract right here, twenty-two, right? Twelve. 22 gets 23 yeah yeah we signed it right here so it's only down about 70 percent since we did it so again no no idea why you no idea only, how it could have a chart look only like this. down 70 percent yeah it's just it's uh yeah who would have known who would have known that's crazy dude yeah like what's going on Let's see. GP Risers almost hitting 12,000 subs. The Mining King is nearly at 10K. The bull run is approaching. Yes, it is. The subs are out. It's what the people want. They want to see the content and everything like that. So if you aren't subscribed to Hawk Crypto Mining or Mining King or anyone else in the chat that is a YouTuber, go check it out. Mr. Retro Mike, of course. Um, a lot of content coming out. A lot of exciting things this is an exciting time for it. not an exciting time for lumen but an exciting time for I knew people that may be that. utilizing the the infrastructure they built because they're forced <laughs> to contractually so it's uh that's what it is but let's switch over to enough of lumen i'm not trying to give them too much they're gonna have to start paying me here they're getting a lot I'm, honestly you, you're giving them jeez yeah. all right this is like a lot of uh there's no dark modes here before mike complains there's no dark modes, um, but eight days. You know what's crazy about this, Dave, is next week you're going to be hosting, and then it's only going to be like two days away from that. Or like it could be pushed. Friday. It could happen sooner. Yeah. Right? You never it know. It can a little bit sooner. As it gets closer, it becomes like a little bit, uh, you know, um, condensed, right? Like the window uh, gets smaller and smaller. It's not like an eclipse, right? It's not like... Right, guarantee right. the time but uh which did you see the eclipse dave did you go outside no i didn't have those glasses or whatever i didn't either i stared right at that thing yeah yeah looking to collect some disability yeah hey <laughs> you know <laughs> i saw that, that online <laughs> or just like sitting at your computer That's... and the whole center of it <laughs> yeah. just like a black hole yeah yeah can't wait to but, go outside um... to look at a. <laughs> Look at the eclipse and then file yeah. for disability. Yeah. On Monday. Yeah. Uh, smash uh, the like, bros. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for also mentioning that. Everyone, please like the video. Uh, if you like what you see, if you don't, then if Dave is making you mad, hit that thumbs down. Thumbs down for Dave. <laughs> oh, this is my channel. Never mind. Thumbs up for Dave. Uh, <laughs> Wait, this is my channel. What the? <laughs> You can't even really see thumbs down, right? So I don't know if it matters anymore. But listen, um, any interaction is good interaction. That's what I say. Yeah, bad publicity is good publicity, right? That's the Kardashian That's right. way. Yeah. Uh, but smash that like, bro. Said so. Best application for forty nineties are now open air. Yes, I think so. I was actually going to make a deal with um, Mr. Hawk Crypto Mining. He has some forty nineties that are larger and. What I guess, Mike, what the MSI Slims can fit in an R8. So he wants to put them in an R8. For what reason? I don't know. I don't really ask these questions. But he wants to fit them in an R8. Um, so I think I'm going to trade him some Slims for the, the larger ones. But uh, Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, Mr. Crypto Craig, 12K subs. Awesome. 6,000 6, subs in two weeks. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nuts but that's that's the thing is like people are getting excited about crypto they want they want some content and stuff that's why me and dave are here talking about comcast and lumen is so that you guys get like yeah. top notch news top on notch content yeah, from guys, us guys. You guys know what's going on here listen uh <laughs> if you didn't know now you know now all right yeah. uh flashbang mr mining king veteran miner anything new with the veteran miner we went over that a little bit earlier in the stream but dave you want to fill him in 
definitely don't want to say it all over again. So I'll call you tomorrow, King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bull Run is definitely here, Crypto Craig. Stop using nice hashes countdown. Honestly, Patrick Murphy, I've tried to find another countdown, and this one is just like the most easy to look at. I know that's not a great answer, but um it's pretty bright if you ask me. Hyron to Bitcoin is mad profitable. Let's see. Let's see what's mad profitable here, Mike. Let's see. Let's see. Crypto well, Pyron, mining. Pyron is profitable. Pyron? GPUs. Yeah. 4090. Oh, it says Ironfish iron and Pyron. I didn't know you could. Oh, yeah. Ironfish just switched to their algo. Mm -hmm. I tried installing their wallet. I don't know why, but I was on like a <laughs> thing last week with this where I, I wanted to buy some iron um, and then, or I wanted to, to mine it on this 4090 test rig but i just lost track of time <sighs> never did it but i will i will do it it's on i just need to set the time so what it makes mike what it makes two dollars a day on pyron dollar 80 or is it what pyron to btc is that like something different with two two miners i don't know um but MOTU prints eight days, fourteen hours on coin market cap. Not much difference. Yeah, it's going to be kind of like fluctuating, right? Until it gets closer and closer, and then by the time yeah. it's like close enough, you're probably going to be like looking at the block explorer. You know what I mean? Um, but Miss Pocket Change, what is going on? I guess uh, Mr. Pocket or Mr. Chump Change uh, might be sleeping already. But tell him we said hello. Uh, Crypto Craig, the 4090 video got so many views. I don't blame him for wanting to do another 4090 video, X8 video and coming. Yeah, honestly, the 4090 gets, there's a lot of views on it, right? Like um, gamers that are looking to get into it, but also kind of like, it's that price point where it's like you're spending like after tax, let's be real. They're like two, two grand, you know what I mean? Unless you get the FE, then you're at like, you know, seven mid 17. Um, it's a hot topic like, no matter which way you look at it, man. Yeah, you're going to want to pay it off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you're not gaming with it and stuff and like you have like this giant case that you put it in with good airflow so that when you're gaming, it's not overheating. Like why not mine with it? Like why not pay off your hardware? You know what I mean? Right. It's um, yeah. So here we go. There's better feedback and support here about Lumen than on Lumen support site. Don't get me started again on Lumen 10 minutes of midnight. It's uh. It's, it's it's just that. Here we go. GP risers. No, 100 giga hash on two miners is making 15 a day at 2200 watts better than an S21. Hmm. This hash rate, I guess hash rate dot no is like a crap website, right? I haven't been on two miners in so long. What is this? Two miners. Where's Opiron? Oh, Here we go. Oh, I didn't share it, but <laughs> why is it so much higher just for a co converting over to Bitcoin? 15 a day at 2,200 watts. Wait, what's 2,200 watts? Is that like how many? Oh, you're talking about like 54090s? Mike, is that 54090s? You'll get back to me, Mike. But um, but yeah, let's see here. Um, Max, I have a question. So if chump change and pocket change are married, wouldn't it be proper to say Miss or <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, Max. I agree. The changes. The changes. <laughs> the changes. That should be a shirt. You guys should get a shirt uh, pocket on that. Um, Shark Farmer, Hive OS is under maintenance. Hmm. But um, let's see. What's Mike saying now? No, Mike. My rigs are on two miners. A total of 100 giga hash at 2200 watts. Four 3090s, four 3080s, and two 4090s. And what, they each make 15 a day? Or you're saying all of those make 15 a day? Hmm. That's not so good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. No. All right, Mike. That's the total. So you got, you have. Oh, Jesus. Four third. Yeah, that's a lot. But yeah, no, you're right. I guess an S21 is kind of. That S21 is 
is it, is it right around that? I guess wattage wise, right? You're talking about like efficiency and stuff, but mm-hmm. um, I don't know, man. I'm with the 4090s. I'm still like team vast with them. I mean, you still make what on vast? Like, I think at worst, like seven dollars a day. Is that what it is? Like after electric and stuff like that, or six dollars? Mm-hmm. Maybe six dollars a day. Maybe it's fallen a little bit. Um, but but you need like the epic boards. Like that's I, I my or mine's kind of skewed because I have like the epic board and a bunch of RAM and stuff like that. But um, it's easier to put multiple. Like on an R8, you know what I mean. You can just put eight of them on there and do it. You don't need to have anything fancy and worry about PCIe mm-hmm. lanes and blah blah blah. But um, but yeah. <clears throat> and Pyron's been around for a while. I've seen a lot. I, I see kind of what people are mining because of the, the back end on our Hive OS. We have like access to, you know, oversee all the clients, make sure they're not doing anything crazy and help them out when they need help. And also for like monitoring and everything like that. But a lot of people mining Pyron. It is quite popular. Um, don't know a whole lot about it, but um, definitely seems kind of interesting. Yeah, what a um, question. Yeah, they are power hungry. Thirty seven hundred watts on those S twenty ones. Epic board and RAM just haven't built it yet. I know. Yeah, you probably brought that up a couple times, Mike. Because I always ask, like, well, where is it? You're like, I have it sitting there. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> but um, that's also the thing, right? Like, it's hard to switch. Like from like once you put the machines on AI it's hard to switch them back. Like you can't, unless you're, that, that's, I mean, the beauty of Flux Core, right? And, the, and Flux Edge, like what they're doing is because you can do that. But like, you know, if I wanted to like, if this machine was on Vast, like the one that I have here or, or any platform, right? For AI right now, like if I wanted to mine with it, I could go into the back end and, and do it, but then it's not going to rent. So that's gonna be problems. The, the ideal way to do it, if I was going to do it, was switch the NVMe with you know fresh install of ubuntu and just do mining you know through that but then you're losing reliability and your machine goes away on vast so it's like it's and all the other platforms you know what i mean there's no easy way to switch so it's like right i do want to mine with them especially i have some rigs on vast now that aren't rented right they're just like sitting there idle and i wish i could mine with them but i can't because then i gotta physically take out the nvme physically it's not easy right like it's such a pain so Everyone go check out Flux. Very cool project. Very excited about it. Not Lumen, though. Not excited about Lumen. GP Riser's Veteran Miner. What do you think about the ALF Miner boxes at 15K? I think that is crazy. I think it's way too much money. Just It's insane. Yeah, yeah I, it's, it's... I'm not for it, really. It's not. It, it's been around for a while, which is, like, yeah. kind of nice. And it's... I. I I don't know I could go on a rant about it. I'm not going to, but it's always like building a better mousetrap, right? Like it's, you know, everyone has their own opinion on it. But when it comes to ASIC mining like that, it's it's just a lot of risk. You know what I mean? And like we see a lot of clients, you know, at Terra that, you know, they'll ask questions like, well, what about this miner? What about that miner? And like some of these miners are like tens of thousands of dollars. Like you said, 15K. Like there's a lot better ways to use that money and not have as much risk, right? Like, I feel like the people that are buying these machines that are that expensive, either 15 grand is just not a lot to them, you know, because we, we've seen people like that, too, where 15 grand for a miner, that's nothing. You know what I mean? Like, but you also see the other tail end of it where it's like, I can't lose this. You know what I mean? Like, this is like, this is supposed to make me this much. It needs to make me this much. And it's a little, it's a little much. Um, it's just, it's, it's risky. I don't, I don't like it. I, I I don't know. If you make investments like that, I mean, that's not really, you're just gambling. You're not even, like, you're gambling, like, your brain away. Yeah. You can't just make investments like that. You're like, I need this to make me a certain amount. We don't know it's going to make you a certain amount. Yeah. You don't know anything is going to make you a certain amount of money. There's nothing guaranteed. So, just a word of advice, and it is advice. Yeah. And that's Don't mess around with your money like that, man. That's crazy. I know, and and that's what I really don't like about it's it. Nuts! Like when I'm buying like 4090s and stuff, like a lot of people think I'm crazy, right, to do it. But it's like, if it, 
if it doesn't become profitable or for whatever reason there's problems with it and like you know it's not worth doing ai or it's not worth mining or whatever like i can always sell the hardware right but right by the time you're selling one of these miners that are literally application specific you know if you're in the position where you're wanting to sell it then you're already in a bad position it means it's not making enough which means you're not the only one thinking that which means new ones are probably cheaper way cheaper than what you would even want to sell it for so it's it's a gamble i just i just don't i just don't i don't know i wouldn't do it you know what i mean like i'm pretty conservative you have the money to do it do it right yeah i mean yeah. like it's just like some people may think you're crazy like you just said that you have all of these 4090s as a normal person right not mm -hmm. even on the business aspect you have this as a human being not as a business well kind of kind of sort of but i'm just saying like you're not a business purchasing these units, right? Yeah. You're purchasing for yourself as an investment. So yeah. I guess it, people could see that that's crazy. Like, oh my God, because I don't even have a 4090 because I just think <laughs> they're a little too much money right now. That's yeah. my thing, right? But like, if you get in late, right? It's the same thing with anything that we all do. If you get in kind of late, you already missed a boat and you have to start all over again or you're trying to play catch up. When you start to play catch up, it's never a good ending, mm -hmm. you know? yeah so no, it's true but um let me see your retro mic gr gp risers i uh, could you even imagine 15k asic in 2017 i wouldn't even spend 2k on the original bit main eth asics now they're all retro mic my first minor was when the s9 came out and me and my buddy that's when we were like splitting everything when we started in 2016 <clears throat> and we paid 1300 for it straight from Bitmain, and that was like disgusting to us we were like this is this is stupid you know what i mean <laughs> and we ended up selling it for five grand and we were like this is crazy and that was like peak bull run you know when we when we ended up selling it and but seeing some of these machines now it's like it's nuts it's just nuts but um and i think we're gonna wrap up here soon guys it's almost 9 30. i will put up mike's new shop uh he's shamelessly shelling himself he has a whole bunch of different stuff here some designs a bitcoin shirt just in case you want to be like the the coolest guy walking around costco you can wear one of these bitcoin shirts you said walking uh, around costco and uh you, know, you got flux in here nice yeah uh, i know mike mike was telling me earlier today he spent a good amount of time on the his website loading it up with some stuff no gp riser stuff yet mike oh you got a red panda okay you got a terra hosting Actually, that backpack is pretty cool. Um, what else do you misfit mining? Okay, okay. Yeah, Mike is going to be doing some GP riser stuff on his uh, his um, store, which will be cool because then I could buy. So I want to. I have like the tumblers, like the green, the not the green ones, the uh, orange tumblers, and uh, so. I'm gonna wait till Mike starts selling merch for GP risers. I'm gonna buy some of those. But um, yeah, check out hawkcryptomining.shop uh, if anyone wants to get some new gear, or if anyone just wants to see what a website that would have been made in 2012 looks like. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mike. The F. <laughs> Oh no, it, it looks good. I like it. Uh, promo code Terra, 10 off, guys. Oh, that's for Tangent. Never mind. Do you have promo code Mike for this? Do you have promo code? I think he walked away from the computer. Let's see, see there more. he is. Look, I hate my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, are there promo codes for this? Can people use promo codes? The, the, it's, the website is ancient. You can't use a promo code on it. Yo, promo code. What is this? GP risers. This is good. Mike, try everything. What do you mean? Look, look. You have one for Panda? What about mm. Retro Mike? Does Retro Mike work? Retro. Uh. <laughs> He said no promo Mike, there's code. no promo codes here. No promo codes, Mike. Come on. How how am I going to get my kickback? <sighs> Hawk, this what is... What are you talking about? This is your fault for yeah. showing the shop. All profits do go to his son's college fund, so uh did mention that. There's college, yeah, so that his son's able to spell correctly because his dad can't. I'm just kidding, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta make promo codes, Mike. Please make promo codes. 
Retro Mike says Chrome code doesn't work. What the Mike, fuck? just do like five or ten percent, Mike, because then it gets I people know. to. <laughs> said... It's getting but... late. <laughs> oh, I can see. It. I see it coming. Listen, I'm just laughing. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but um, yeah. Check out HawkCryptoMining.shop. He will have promo codes next week. <laughs> fuck. Hopefully. <laughs> Use oh. code GP Risers next week for ten percent off. <laughs> what are you laughing about, Dave? Uh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh god, she said. Oh. Uh. All right. Oh. But well, that's that. But all right, guys. Well, we're gonna call it a night. We've been going. How long have we been going for? An hour and fifteen minutes. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, but. Check out hotcryptomining.shop. Um, he has some cool Terra stuff. I am gonna get some stuff, and he's gonna have some. He is going to have some GP Risers merch up there at some point. So uh, check that out. And we're gonna be on Dave's channel next week, and yeah. that is gonna be the last Wired Wednesdays before the having. So I'm sure a lot of the other big YouTubers are gonna be doing live streams. So we'll probably be active in some of those live streams during the having. So of course, we'll check. Maybe, maybe we'll hop in on video on some of the other ones. That's Somebody. Somebody's yeah. gonna be live. Please invite us. Please invite us on your shows. Yeah, um, we'll be we'll be active. It's gonna be a fun event. It only happens once every four years, right? Um, so every four years. Yeah, so let's get it going now, right? Yeah. But, cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week. And uh, Dave, you got anything? Any final words you want to tell the the crowd? Any any secrets? Yeah. Um. Hawk Crypto Mining dot shop. HawkCryptoMining.shop. Check it out, guys. But hope everyone has a good night. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. And yeah. that's all, guys. Have a great rest of your week. Say, guys. All right. Bye. Later.